Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to submit amendments to this bill. Um, colleagues, last year, 26 Democrat legislators. Senator Morlock, yes. I'm going to have the secretary read those, okay? I apologize. Thank that you is quite all much. right. Mr. Secretary, please read. Amendments by Senator Morlock, set one. Senator Morlock. Thank you, Madam President. Last year, 26 Democratic legislative leaders signed a letter addressed to then Speaker Atkins and President Pro Tem de Leon to remove the cap on reserves for school districts. I don't think we've changed our position. The current cap of 6% of expenditures is too narrow of a, brand with, a bandwidth between 0 and 6%. 17% should not be the cap either. It should be eliminated completely, and that's what my amendments propose to do with Senate Bill 751. <clears throat> I had the privilege of working for 12 years with the 32 school districts in Orange County as the treasure tax collector, and uh, had a lot of fun going through a lot of their financial statements, and I will just tell you that this cap is not good governance, it's not prudent fiscal management. So instead of the customary tabling of an amendment, I would enjoy a good floor debate on this critical issue. Um, it's a fiscal matter that will be more dominant in the years ahead as school districts face ever rising contributions to their pension plan. Should independently elected school boards dictate what the cash reserve should be, or should it be Sacramento telling them what their cap is? So with that, colleagues, I respectfully request that we entertain the amendments and have a floor debate, if at all possible. 